Hello everyone. Welcome to the MLM Lunchtime Leadership Show. Today we are covering law number 11, Law of the Inner Circle. And I am Bess McCarty, coach for Business and Life and also called the Shrink of MLM. <laughs> and usually I partner with Jeffrey David Gamble to bring you this show at noon Eastern Time, Monday through Friday, where we cover one of the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John Maxwell. This is the MLM Lunchtime Leadership Show for network marketers, but for really for all entrepreneurs or anyone who wants to improve their life, uh, their business, their family even. So it's very, very powerful. Um, going to invite some people to make sure some people um, need or want an invite uh, so that they can come on. So going to do that real quick and then we'll get into the law number 11. And by the way, if you are watching the replay, Please type that in because I'd like to thank you for that and welcome you. I'd love, also love to hear where you are watching from, what part of the world, because we're reaching people from all over the world here. And so, going to invite um, Nancy, Patricia, Brian, Teddy, Lisa, and Liz, Rebecca, Rosie. I want everybody to feel included. And Patrick, and Anne, and Sandra. And Robert and Patrice and Ralph and Jannie and Lucy and Ignacio and Denise, Matt, Pilani, Doris, Gloria and Obar, Gail, Andrew, Don, and James. And then we'll begin the show in just a moment. And um, so everyone is invited. And by the way, if you have gotten value from this show, like so many people have. They say, well, this is how I start my day, just like taking my vitamins. And, um, you know, very, wouldn't miss the lunchtime leadership, the MLM lunchtime leadership show. And if you are like that, then uh, I certainly invite you to consider sharing it with friends. Maybe tag someone right now or share to a Facebook group that could be watching it live with us at the same time. So it's a good way to share. And okay, I think that covers a lot of people. So this show, our purpose is to help people grow, to educate, equip, and empower entrepreneurs and create independent servant leaders. And this is a generic show sponsored by our generic school, the MLM Millionaire Academy. That's a generic school for network marketers. And yes, I miss <laughs> um, I'm teaching along with, with Jeff on these shows. Uh, I love partnering with you, Jeff, if you're watching, and look forward to when we can do that again. What we, the last two weeks, we've had a glitch with my phone won't let um, me come on a dual screen on Facebook like, we, like we've been doing for a year and a half now. Welcome, David Roeder. Good to see you. So what, it, what happened was I got a new phone, <laughs> a new iPhone 11, and that doesn't work either. And I've been troubleshooting many, many, many hours and days troubleshooting, but we can't solve it. So David Roeder suggested um, Zoom. And uh, I need, I, I, we, we practiced on that. We can do that. We can do a dual screen on, on Zoom, of course. But we um, need a webinar upgrade to be able to get us onto Facebook Live via Zoom, dual screen. Um, so I'm, I'm stuck at that point. Does anyone have current information? How do you add? It's not in the app store. I cannot find it on the app that I have now. How do you upgrade to webinar um, webinar effects or webinar upgrade to be able to get it on Facebook Live? Anybody have current information? I found stuff from a year or two old uh, when I researched YouTubes and articles about that. So I'm still working on that today, hopefully on Monday. Um, we might hope, hope to have that solved <laughs> and be able to get on here together. So welcome the people who are watching. Please, if you're watching the replay, please type in replay. And if you are watching and want to be a better leader and know the secret of how to use the inner circle, please type yes, because that's what this is about today. So the inner circle, um, John Maxwell says, a leader's position is determined by those about him. No one can do it alone. You need a team. And of course, this is really, really evident in network marketing. So your inner circle is who supports and advises you or who you support and advise. So you can be in an inner circle and you can have an inner circle about you. 
And what's the purpose of that? It's I, I think it's to make your time the most efficient. In other words, you can't help everybody, right? So you want to work with the top 20% of your team or of your customers or in your company. You want to work with the top 20% who are the most ready, the most um, contributing, the most deserving of this attention that you will give them. And if you're in an inner circle, you want to make sure that you deserve to be in that inner circle. So I'm going to talk about those qualities in just a minute. But th this is prominent in all business, isn't it? Uh, nobody can be at the top. So th it's the top 20% of the people who collaborate, who plan, who, who activate, and who direct and, and really de make the decisions. Right? It's, it's always, there's always an inner circle to everything, to every organization. And these are the most active, giving, serious, committed people. So you, we can decide, am I one of those or am I the person you know, on the outer edges, on the fringes, who was, is just going for average, just getting by? Um, or am I one of the, the few who are committed and service-oriented? Welcome, Lucy. Good to see you. I think that all of this really boils down to service. A whole lot of these laws are saying, are you contributing to life or are you taking from life? It said that there's only two type of people in life, the people who lean and the people who lift others up. Or I could say the people who serve and the people who take. Right? The people who say, how can I contribute to life? How can I... How can I um, um, deliver more? How can I contribute? How can I make the world better for people around me? When you come down to it, a whole lot of these leadership laws are about that exactly. How um, how much do I contribute to life? That will determine how much of a, of a leader that you are. So welcome, Arby, and welcome, Thomas. Glad to see you. So if you're watching and you want to be counted in here and be recognized that you are here, just, just type a little hello, type yes. Um, and also love to hear any questions or insights you have about this inner circle. Now, we know that um, one of our students in the MLA Millionaire Academy says, well, this is the Pareto principle, P-A-R-E-T-O principle, the 80-20, that it's 20% it's usually of your organization who are the producers, and those are the ones that, that deserve your attention, deserve to be worked with. And um, I used to be a taker, now I'm a giver, David says. Well, I can say sure the same thing, or I at least aim to be. And John Maxwell has helped me a whole lot that way. <clears throat> John says before he goes to somebody's house for dinner, he says, well, what can I bring? You know, something to drink. Um, can I bring my two hands to be able to lend a hand to help, you know, uh, uh, with the dinner? Um, before or after the dinner, can I, can I bring a story <clears throat> to tell or a joke or an interesting question? Um, what can I contribute to this evening? You know, flowers, food. Um, a helping hand, a listening ear. You know, what can I contribute to people? Now, me, I'm a massage therapist. When I go to family dinners, people know that um, they can they can sit in front of me and I'll massage their shoulders. You know, I, I know I always bring bring that as something that I can bring, but I also see what I can do to contribute to the dinner itself. And that, that's much more fun for me. And And everyone contributing, it takes a team. It really does take a team anywhere. No one can. No one has been ever successful without a team. So it takes a number of people contributing, doesn't it? Hello, Marty. Welcome. And everyone watching. So when have you um, had an inner circle? When have you been part of an inner circle? What were the qualifications of that? So here's a few, a few tips of how we can know who the inner circle, who our inner circle is, who your inner circle is, and how to be part of an inner circle, how to be part of a valued part of an inner circle. Um, the qualifications are, do they have, this is John Maxwell's uh, qualifications anyway, do they have high influence, like people who um, know a lot of people, and do people want to move toward them? Are they attracted, you know, by giving, by serving, and by thinking of others? Do they bring a complimentary gift to the table of the team? Um, do they hold strategic positions in the organization? In other words, are they serving in some way? Are they helping um, to give in some way? Do they add value or do they take it? Do they lean or do they lift? Do they serve or do they take? 
right? And then are they a good fit and a good impact, a positive impact on other members? In other words, are they friendly? Um, Also, do they have good character, maturity, and excellence? I like to add, are they ready? (laughs) Like especially in network marketing, are they ready to grow? Are they ready to to grow their business? Or just saying that they are, just treating it like a hobby or just like a lottery ticket, let's see what happens here. Are they really ready to grow and eager to grow and have a good reason to? Are they grateful people? Do they say thank you for your help? Do they value it? Do they use it? Do they do what you say? Are they coachable? Um, Do they show up? (laughs) Can't help somebody who's absent. Can have an inner circle who's absent, right? Do they show up? Do they uh, come to the meetings? Are they visible? Do they you know they're out there? Are they consistent? Are they you know a contributing part? Do they show up? Do they suit up and show up? As a friend of mine used to say, um, especially when they say that they will. You know, I will I will attend this meeting tonight, and I will bring three people. I can't always control that, but I will show up. And do they show up? When, and do they do what they say they're going to do? So that you can count on them. So that you can depend on them. So you don't have to worry and wonder. People wanting a shoulder rub. David Roder, I know you're a massage therapist too. <laughs> you mean people around you want a shoulder rub? <laughs> I, I I let them know. I encourage it, you know. It's very bonding for me with my family members, you know. Come and sit in front of me and have a shoulder rub and we'll talk, you know. It's very it's the way that I connect with them. So we each have a gift like that to contribute or to bring to the table, don't we? We that's the cool thing about about um, contributing or adding value to people, which kind of overlaps with this law. Um, we each have something that we bring that's unique, that's us, that no one in the world has or can bring. We each have this. So what is that? What is that that you have that's very unique? It could just be your essence, your personality, Um, the way that you listen to people, the way that you are thoughtful with people. But even among all of that, you know, a lot of people could have that, but there's still something that the essence of you that that you bring. I have recently become a new grandma uh, to a little girl named Ellie. She's eight weeks old now, and I get to hold her and spend a lot of time with her right now. So very, very grateful for that. And I think, why are we so in love with this child? You know, she is so precious. She is so perfect, so beautiful, such a miracle. And she's just being. I mean, she doesn't... What does she contribute <laughs> to life? And why, do, why does everybody love her? Um, just because of her own essence. Just because she exists. And she's a unique little being, uh, unlike anyone else in the whole world. And I'm thinking, each one of us is that precious and that wonderful. Let us contribute that. Let us bring that to the table. Let us add value uh, to our inner circle, whether we're in one or whether we are leading one, you know, whether we're part of one or whether we have an inner circle. Um, let us bring our unique essence and, and value ourselves and know that, <clears throat> that we can uplift, um, contribute, add value in ways that no one else can. Kind of hard to put into words, isn't it? Something that intangible. But, um, okay, so... If we're in an inner circle, we want to be ready. We want to be grateful, coachable. We want to show up. We want to do our activities. Now, in network marketing, that means doing your presentations, contacting new prospects every day. I hope at least two a day that that you're doing to add value to life and to say, I am a network marketing professional. I'm, I'm contacting people every day. I'm letting people know what I have because people out there need what I have. My pet areas are um, there's people that want to be home with their kids. There's seniors that want to have a dignified retirement. There's people that want to get out of debt, especially students, and there's people who want to leave bad jobs and bad bosses. So that's most of the people out there, and um, these people need to hear from you that there's an option. Not that this is right for them, or you know it's right for them, but this is an option. So our our network marketers, and I used to be one full-time for years. You know, it was my mission to help people, too. It was a health health business and financial. So I used to help people with that, you know, health and finances, which a lot of you do. So there's people out there that need to know what you do so they know they have an option that they can possibly better their lives with. Thank you for the likes and loves. I really appreciate that. So the people out there um, need you to be active. And this is how you are 
this is how you role model for your inner circle. And this is how you're part of an inner circle. Because you know that in network marketing, if you deserve to deserve the attention of an active upline, whether it's your direct upline or further up, they're going to look and see what are you doing. Are you sincere in learning? Are you active? Are you doing your presentations? And guess what? The, the side effect of that is the ranks, the being on stage, the increased income and all that, and the money that you make them. But they're going to be looking at, is this person active? Are they sincere? Do they come to meetings? Are they coachable? Are they really sincere from the heart and learning and putting this into action? Not just learning, but you know, are they, going to be, are they going to be worth our while to spend time teaching them? Do they translate that into action and the people that they help and the people that they help? That is the test in a, in a business, in a network marketing. Do you learn and then do you put it into action? They go, aha, this is a person that deserves our personal attention to groom and train and mentor in, in our group toward success. This person's demonstrating that they, they are going to be worth our time and attention. They've earned their way into the inner circle by being coachable and by then putting it into action consistently. So that is how you be part of an inner circle. And of course, then you contribute. Um, there can be mentoring inner circles, like a network marketing, but there can also be masterminding inner circles too, <clears throat> to where these are more like equals. And this in network marketing could look like your, your cross line. Um, or other people on your team. And Napoleon Hill describes this type of an inner circle as a mastermind alliance. He says, surround yourself with people who advise, counsel, co cooperate, and bring harmony. When two minds come together, it creates a third invisible and tangible force. That's why a lot of very successful people are part of business mastermind groups, where they can get together and share ideas, and then brainstorm back and forth, and stuff happens, ideas come about, and plans come about that they couldn't do alone, again, because it needs that team. So one plus one equals much more than two. And when you add more people in, it exponentially adds the power of that, that masterminding group. Now, it could grow too big. So um, it could, I think five people is a very, a very good number to um, share ideas and get encouragement back and forth without becoming too bogged down. Um, so about about five <clears throat> coming together could be could be more or less but it increases the energy available to the whole group because you don't know what you don't know there's so much out there and I, I liken that to oh like a bouquet of flowers that each of the <clears throat> flowers at you know variety of them they each add a different color a different shape a different kind of flower and together they make up the bouquet they have, each have different skills, or players on a basketball team. Some are good at, at um, um, sinking the basket, some are gar good at guarding, and some are good at passing. So, so, so is this on a mastermind alliance team. There can be different people with different skills. In fact, you can choose that um, to contribute to the whole, that you can all learn from each other. Like, I'm, I'm good at one aspect, so I'll choose people, a team of people who are good at different aspects that we can each enrich each other, the experts in different areas. Okay, who has been part of an inner circle? Who has been part of a mastermind alliance? Or who has one? I'd love for you to write um, yes below, and also any tips that you have for us about that. What have you learned about that, about being in an inner circle? or who would like to be in an inner circle or have one. Some people don't have a team yet. So then be in an inner circle. You know, the first step would be that you earn your way into an inner circle and prove yourself. Then you can replicate that with your team. And welcome, Mark. Glad to see you. How are you? We're talking about leadership and um, having an inner circle and working with those who deserve it. People who are ready, coachable, dependable, show up, contribute. Um, have a good why. They, they're, they're usually hungry people. They know, what they're, they know what they're going for. They can stay focused, and they're serious people. So again, because we can't help anyone, you know, pick out the 20% and <clears throat> work with them. Uh, let's see what else can I... Yeah, people are committed, tenacious, kind, honest, focused. So if you create an inner circle... 
let them observe you. Be that good role model of you doing your 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 prospecting and, and your um, activity. Um, train them, then let them, and then give them feedback. So those are the steps to training someone. You let them see you do it, then tr teach them to do it, let them do it, and then give them feedback. And that, that could be mostly about prospecting or helping other people to get started right. <clears throat> David would like to be part of a mastermind group. <clears throat> You know what? <clears throat> How about anybody who wants to be part of one, write that down, and perhaps you can contact each other after the show. And now, David Roder's in Mastermind in Network Marketing, but David, what type of uh, Mastermind group would you like to be in? Um, network Marketing Success, or uh, another entrepreneur, or another type of... Cause let, why don't you give it a name for us so that people know what you are looking for? <clears throat> Now, within our school, the ML and Millionaire Academy, I consider that <clears throat> as a masterminding group because after our regular weekly classes on Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, we have the Quick Start Basics class where we teach the 10 Core Commitments. And after that 90-minute lesson, we teach one of the 10 Core Commitments a week. After that 90-minute session is done, we turn off the recording, and then we have open coaching where people can share their takeaways or ask questions or contribute ideas. And guess what? People have learned a lot from each other. In fact, it was David Roder who reminded me that Zoom can do dual Facebook Lives. And so that's why I'm... I'm, I'm um, trying to make that work right now. So in a way that in that moment that that David saw a need and contributed an idea that in a way was a little bit of what happens in a mastermind. You know, you need something, you ask the group and there's somebody there that is very likely to know the answer of what you need. So welcome Carrie, good to see you. More thoughts on how to improve our MLM skills. Okay, so David wrote we're like a mastermind on how to improve our MLM skills. And um, that is exactly what we do within our school and um, more thoughts on how to improve our skills. And so you're welcome to, to um, um, join that group too. It's very insanely affordable. Um, we have some of the top network marketers in there who jump ranks, who are very serious um, and getting results. So I'll post that link too. And yes, yeah, skills are 20% of success and mindset is 80%. And uh, a quick tip I'll give now about how to improve skills is to get out and do it. To find the best script and method that you can, which we teach in the school, we, this is the best we've ever seen, of the, um, of the invite script that Jeff has evolved and the 10-minute presentation and the follow-up and what to do about that. So these are the very best skills that that we know of in network marketing and we encourage people to get good at these skills by doing the two to five presentations a day, not just a month or a year, but you know at least two to two presentations a day to really grow your business and stay ahead of attrition. So the best way I know to improve those skills is to get good at it is to do the, do the numbers. Make sure that you do those a day. And we also teach how to talk to new people so you never run out of people to talk to. So you can do the two to five a day. Um, so that that's the best way, that's the best tip that I have right now, how to improve those skills. So as I was describing, our ML and Millionaire Academy, School for Network Marketers, has the class, which we consider like a mastermind class. And within the school, there's another inner circle class. We call this our inner circle for leadership. And this is a Wednesday night class called MLM Leadership University, where we cover one of the John Maxwell books a month. And this month we are on how to becoming becoming a person of influence. So Wednesday night we just did chapters three to five on that, and this coming Wednesday we're doing chapters six to eight within that book. So that is within our inner circle, and those are the most serious, committed, regular people. There's people in there who consistently show up like almost every single class for the last couple of years. And um, we know that these are the most serious students and network marketers. So welcome, Eugene. How are you today? Thank you for watching. If anyone is getting value and you know a friend who could also get value, or tag them. So hope that didn't cut out. But if you know people who uh, can get value from this, we'd love if you, if you tag, share uh, with them. Um, 
So let's see what else, um, the inner circle. Um, just remember that you can have an inner circle, you can be part of an inner circle. See what you can bring to it. And choose carefully the people that you work with. You are limited. <laughs> you only have so much time and energy in a day. And you want to make sure that that, that that is given to the people that most deserve it and are going to run with it and then multiply it. It's like giving out your seeds, your valuable seeds. Give it to sowers. Give it to people who are going to sow that seed. Give it to the farmers, not the people who are just going to store it. <laughs> that reminds me of the, the story of the talents, right? The, um, the master called um, three servants to him <clears throat> and said he's going on, now I'm going to paraphrase because I don't have the exact details, but I'm going on a trip. I'm going to entrust to you some talents, which is like money or dollars. And he gave one a little bit and the next one more and the next one more. I think the one that he gave a little bit, um, he said, when I come back, I'm going to see how you handle this money. Well, one of them simply saved it. And so when he came back and the master looked and said, well, here it is. I didn't lose it. I just saved it. And here it is. And I buried it in the backyard. And when he came back, I made sure that I wasn't going to lose it. And here it is. And the next one invested a little bit of money and got some back. But the third one invested more money and, and got a lot back. So he said, okay, now you will rise up in rank or hold a higher position in my household because I know that when I give you money, you can multiply it many times back. But the guy who just held on to it and buried it and kept it because he was afraid of losing it and did not grow. You know, didn't lose it, but it didn't grow either. Um, he was the least, considered the least of these. So we don't want to hang on to something for security. We don't want to absorb information and just hang on to it and not give it out and go out and, you know, if you know a skill like the favor script, like we teach in the school, um, go out and, and share that and use it and put it to use and make it multiply in your business. And that is how you be part of an inner circle or earn your way into an inner circle. And that is what you want to do to role model for your people in your inner circle that you have and teach them how to do that too. So let's go out and multiply and teach them to have their inner circles and theirs and so on. That's how we multiply. Let's share the, the, the gifts of network marketing which is an incredible profession. Um, no other one that I know of, it's the best business in the world that I know of, and that's why I've chosen to be a network marketing coach for network, a coach for network marketers, a generic coach. I used to be full-time in the business, but now I'm a generic coach. This is my calling, helping network marketers to break through mindset and blocks that they have, uh, whether it's fears or negative beliefs. This is, this is the, the part, the role that I play within network marketing. Um, so I'm dedicated to this. And um, there's, yeah, a lot of people that, that need your help out there. Let us go out and be active and multiply the seeds that we were given and pick people that we know will multiply the seeds that we give them who are going to sow it. And yes, some fall on rocky ground, some don't get rain, some get eaten by the birds, <laughs> as Jim Rohn says. But they, at least they go out and they sow the seed to their best knowledge. They try to find the best ground to sow their seeds as well. So that is the law of inner circle multiplying itself, which plays into other laws. Monday, happy weekend, everybody. And Monday, um, Jeff, or maybe both of us, will be back for law number 12, which is law of empowerment. And this is that a leader, actually, when they give power away, they actually get more power. So that is Monday, the law of empowerment. Why do we repeat these? Because they're each very powerful and very deep. When, when you've mastered them, you no longer need to come to the show but, and watch. But we, we hope that you, you get something every day that you can put 1% of this into action. In fact, if you got a takeaway, please type that in because I'd like to hear what your takeaway is. And see if you can use one thing, put that into action in your life this week to become 1% better. Don't just listen and come on, but you know, put it into action. I will put the links for our school down below so you can check that out. We'd love to have you. It's it, it, you follow what's, but that is our inner circle that Jeff and I have, and you follow that, put it into action, will change your business and change your life. So everyone take care. Can't keep what you, 
what you have until you give it away. That's the law of the inner. That's the law of empowerment. Yep. Thank you, David, for that example, and for being so consistent. David and others are in our school, and are so consistent in the school and on the lives. So these are the these are the winners, and we will see you all next show on Monday every noon, Eastern time. Noon, yeah, noon Eastern time, Monday through Friday. Jeff or both of us will be here. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>